This is Albion, the last bastion of humanity. Many lives have been laid before the Ironheart. I wish to help humanity. My system can locate the Ironheart. However, my functions were damaged after I was separated from it. If I can access the data left by my creators, the Ancestors, I should be able to find a way to restore my system. I appeal to all descendants who can hear my voice. Please help me to restore my system. Take me to the Ancestors' facility. <laughs> Welcome back to Crimson Sand and today I'm very excited that we are finally able to um, share with you about this new game First Descendant. It's actually been out for a few months already since I think June, July that time, um, around the same time we had a break. But this First Descendant, it is the whole concept is very similar to if you're familiar with the game like Warframe with Destiny and with Dauntless. If you're familiar with this kind of action strategy game, then this is one of the game for you because they do try to, I think, combine all the good things and then put them together into this game. First Descendant, from their characters, you can find some clue that you can tell this producer, this gaming company is from South Korea, it's called Nixon. Okay, so they have proven track record of delivering engaging online experience. Nixon, they are also behind some game, some popular games like Maple Story and the Cart Rider. And with First Descendant, we can tell they are they have really invested a lot and in trying to make it grand and big. And for now, we quite enjoying the experience. We know there are a lot more um, upcoming updates. They have a lot more different plans about this game. And we also learned that they actually listen to the community. They do try to have a clear and uh, more transparent communication with the community from, from all their um, statements. So that is also one of a very good sign for um, becoming a good game so we will see we will see how it goes but for now we do enjoy it of course and that's why I leave the ascendant a little bit and then doing the descendant now okay so just let me introduce a little bit more background about the first descendant so this game so like i mentioned earlier it's like all the other games like you will have aliens you know, it's humanity crisis is that okay we are in the last last place of the humanity with all the intruders from the aliens when i just heard about this game i don't know anything like everything is made of word where the the human where are the people now population it calls ingress it is um human colony on a distant planet okay and the aliens the bad guys they are called the Vogus, okay, and there is Vogus invasion, meaning when a dimensional gate opened, and that led to an invasion by technologically advanced Vogus and the colossal war machine called the Colossi, which is the main bosses in the game. Okay, you will also heard a lot about the search. The search meaning the bad people, the Vogus, they're seeking something on ingredients. Okay, so they that's why they keep attacking this human population. Okay, so what is the first descendant? The first descendant, of course, they are the heroes. They are the human's last hope. These these individuals post different powers there, and those powers called arc, just like skills. And then um, these skills have different attributes, or you call um, maybe you call it elements. We call it different uh, type. So, um, so this called arc, 
A R C H E Arc. So we are the players. We are the descendant. We are going to choose the descendant to use when in different scenarios. It is not like we can create our own character, which, to be honest, I personally prefer that I can, I can have my own character and I keep the same character. Maybe I will change different gears. I change different artifacts, but I still have in the same character. But first descendant is different. Basically, for now they have, for now, up to now, and I know we know they are going to introduce more descendants, but for now they have 16 descendants, plus some of them you would have the ultimate type, okay, so meaning they are like a better version of the normal characters. So in total there are 16 normal characters, and the ultimate form, there are 6 ultimate form for now. Because not everyone have all the time in the world. It's not everyone is professional gamer. We are not professional gamers. We still have our own job. So we would suggest you, you can have one or two descendants in the beginning that help you to navigate the beginning parts and then to start farming the the, the materials for the ultimate for the ultimate descendant, which you know, save you save you a lot more time. So you don't need to do a normal descendant and then a ultimate. You don't need to have you don't really need to have both. So in total, yes, so in total for now there are sixteen plus six. Sixteen so what's that? <laughs> sixteen plus twenty two descendants that you can choose from. But yes, like I just said, you need to farm materials to create the new descendant to be able to form this new descendant that for you to use but in the very beginning of the game you are able to choose choose one descendant from the three okay so in the beginning they give you three options the first option is the lay pick the grenade guy we, we, we say like it likes to use explosive device it will do a very big damage if that's how you build it and that's what how normal how everyone built it for now in the boss fight like you can you can kill the boss um, in a very short time within one minute so so that's the lead pick you can use grenades you can create um, big damage and then and then there is a Vesa okay Vesa is a chill queen so Opposite to Lepic, Lepic is for about, it's all about um, technical part, grenade, bullet, okay? Vesa is, have its own, like we would just say, arc, um, have the chill attribute element. What does that mean? So Vesa, when you use Vesa, you will see that oh, you have all the chill movement skills where you are able to use the power of ice. Right, you can freeze enemies, you can stun enemies or slow down the enemies. So if you prefer more tactical control focus play style, VSO is your pick. So the last one but not least is the Ajax. So Ajax you can think is the tank, right? Tank and attack person. So with Ajax it's very agile. And one of the main thing is that it it has a shield and then um, like a bullet like a globe shield that surround you and from every end everywhere okay like a ball and then um, it has like a bulletproof shield which can bounce back attack as well so like for for me right I, I'm not very good at this kind of shooting action games so um, Ajax is definitely my go-to character in the very beginning I definitely use Ajax because I can survive better. <laughs> it's a tank, and I, I I I also prefer the attacking style in these RPG games. This is the three characters that you can choose. Of course, you can see how you like to play. If you prefer to do like big damage in one shot and then moving around more strategic with your teammates, then you can go for Lepic. If you like attack, but you also like all the different, like stone people, and then to do different moves, Vesa is actually not as a bad choice. Of course, because Vesa is the one, is the only female character in the game. I mean, in the very beginning of the game. So, 
Of course, many female players may just go for Fiesa, but after I learn about this game, I will go for Ajax. Okay, <laughs> that's my choice. But but yeah, so that's the first three, and of course, you see in the very beginning, you see that bunny bouncing around. You will be able to have bunny, and you will find that many people just use bunny, and then you will find that a lot uh, there are a lot more female characters and a lot more. Most people prefer to use female characters for whatever reason. You can see it's quite like sexy, like a lot of flash and everything. Uh, but it's up to you. Okay, so in the end of the day, it's about its ability, it's about how you play, and I would definitely suggest you to try all the different characters and of course in the future we will we will share more about all the different characters in different videos so so this is the characters of the descendant okay so let's wrap it up first descendant is a very fast-paced strategic battles game like i said it's like warframe it's like dauntless it's like destiny we, we found out the developers that are actually quite surprised about how fast the community can progress in the game because because on the first glance it's very complicated right what is module what is arcs was it what is attributes because they use different terminologies if you don't like to read instructions and everything then it may took a while for you to understand how they work but once you understand how it works and you understand that oh yeah it's about building your characters with different modules building your guns with different modules and then also about how how you can build to fit your playing style so so this is first descendant all the different characters you will be able to own them and then you will be able to choose different characters on different scenarios and also is you, you can play in party with your friends or you can you can play in public with different people so in this part because person personally I, I love Dauntless it's of the same type like you can join a mission with maximum four people in the mission so so most of the time you can do totally play solo but without problem because in uh, many missions if you do like public search then that means that you are likely to find different players to play in the same time uh, to going through the mission so you don't need to worry about you need to do everything yourself especially in the very beginning of the game or if you're like me, you like to play this kind of game, but you you know that you are not like like oh my the professional players like very good at aiming and everything. So it's really doable. You can totally to play this game for free without purchasing any extra bonuses. Most of the in-game purchase is for um, additional slots of things additional storage skins emotes you know but if <coughs> if you don't want to spend a penny on this game you can totally do that and i think because i'm going to go through this game from very beginning again and then i'm going to show you we can do the free to play as well 100 percent and that's what we will do so yeah, if you're enjoying fast-paced action strategy game, then, then definitely try First Descendant and let us know what you think about this and then let us know what kind of content you want to watch. Like do you want to see the all the different introductions or to find out how to build different characters? Do you want to see how to go in through the big challenges, missions, quests? Let us know, let us know. If you found like there's anything that you, you, you are not sure and you can't find because this game, even even though there are a lot of content creators already, we, we do find that sometimes we still cannot find answers online and I hope we can find out the answers together and then we can share this with you.